Hi everyone and welcome back to our action RPG series. In this episode we're going to start looking at buffs. So we're going to start off with creating how a buff works and adding it to our game. So let's go ahead and create a buff that increases our attack power. So to help get us started with buffs, the way the buffs are going to work is it's going to be an actor that spawns into the world and is then attached to your character. And that character is then buffed. The buff will then affect the stats component, affecting either the stat modifier or the stat contribution. Most of the time, it'll be the stat modifier. Modifiers, as a reminder, are the sort of multipliers, so it'd be like a percentage increase, where stat contribution are raw stats coming from usually like armor. So let's go ahead and create our buff actor from our ability. So in our ability, we've got effects, We've got debuff effects, but we're also going to make the buff effects. So let's make a buff parent class, just like how we got a debuff parent. So we're going to create a child of ability effect. And we'll call it buff parent. And we'll drag that into the effects folder. And we'll make a new folder here for buff. Yeah. Okay, so the buff is going to be attached to someone. Okay, so the very first thing you want your buff to do is register who it is attached to because enemies can be buffed by other things too, and we don't want to get that mixed up. So to get the attached parent of any actor, you can just do get attach parent actor. And what that does is it walks up the chain back up until it reaches a whole new actor and then it assumes that that is the attached parent actor so we'll get that and that should return in our case the player character so i'm going to drag this out and promote that to variable and we'll go buff recipient so we know who is receiving the buff now we've got the recipient we can now access various things such as the stats component from the buff recipient we're going to get the component by class i'm going to search for the stats component and part of the stats component as we said is the stat modifiers i'm going to get a stat modifier and here we have a variety of stats already set up we've got health strength dexterity intelligible power resource okay now, if I go back to my stat modifier, let me just go back over to the stats component. We've got a function already set up to alter stat modifiers. So we go to there. Now you can already see we already set this up last time to add on a change of value. So if you put in a negative, it'll be bring the value down. If it's positive, it'll bring the value up. And what we want to do is we're going to make our attack stronger. So let's go to the calculate attack power. And here we're looking at strength to calculate the stats of that. So we're going to modify strength for our example here. So we're going to go to alter stat modifier. And the stat we're going to change here is going to be a strength stat. And the change, we're going to say an increase. We'll do something drastic so you can see the value change. Um, but we're going to do a drastic change of one. So what that means, it's going to add one onto the existing stat modifier because they start off at, at one already. So it should double the amount of damage we're coming out of it. Okay. Now, this is all well and good. But I need to, this to test this out, I need to actually attach this to the player character. So what I'm going to actually do before we do anything here, I'm just going to do a little debug and attach this actor to actor. And attach the parent actor to be the get player character. And I usually snap it to their location. The reason being is that you may have buffs or debuffs that affect in a radius, like um, increasing the attack power of party members near you, for example. So we'll do that, hit compile and save. So 
I'm going to drag this asset into the level. There's the buff parent. I'm going to test that out. And as you can see, when I hit them, we now got 25 instead for the, the initial hit. The tens are the ticking damage from the debuff that we tested out before, but the 25 that you see coming up, that is our special attack. And to prove that's the case, if I take out this buff and put it in there, you've got 12. Okay, so it's literally doubling the amount of damage we do. Okay, perfect. So part of the buff is you may want to show it to the player on the screen uh, in a form of some UI element. And we'll do that in the next part. So there you go, creating buffs is fairly simple and pretty easy to work with. Now all we're gonna do now is work on adding a UI element to the screen that updates and shows us what buffs we currently have active on our player character. So if you want to watch that next episode right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where you find that video plus many others from just $1 a month. A massive thank you to all our patrons and YouTube members who are supporting the channel. Thank you so much. It really can't be done without you. So thank you again. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.